Well, back. The cat's out of the bag. Yeah. I can actually show you in the bed and show what you're reading. That's right. Even after five kids, you got to read the book. It's just always good to um, be uh, up to date and refresh. It's been five years. Well, has it been five years or has it been six? Mm -hmm. Because Gideon will be six in October. Yeah. Anyways, it's Most been a while. Like we're starting again. It's been a while. Yeah, and actually, this is um, this is a uh, geared towards more natural. Mm -hmm. Well, they didn't have this when yeah. um, Gideon, Gideon, when I was pregnant with him. Yeah, love you. Love you too. This one tends to be jealous. Watch this. We got some uh, dog training to do. We do. <laughs> I don't know if he's jealous or he just loves you too. I think he likes the energy. I got a book too. This one's for dad. Dad's, I saw it at a friend's house. This is perfect for dads because it's not too serious and it's waterproof. <laughs> if you're not hooked on the opening page, what you might think you're, let's see if I can see you in there. What you might think your newborn looks like. <laughs> it's warning you for what a newborn looks like so that you're not shocked and give it face what your newborn will actually look like. <laughs> I love this line right here. As a matter of fact, your newborn may not bear any resemblance to you, your partner, or any known member of your species. <laughs> Be prepared. I'll leave a link for that down in the description. I saw this at a friend's house. I was like, I gotta have it. This is our fifth child, but this, is, this makes it fun. Slept in a little bit this morning. My jaw, it's been a surgery over a week ago a week and two days and oh man i still got to take it easy because how many views our video has on it <laughs> that i'm 41 and pregnant video I have no 12 idea. hours I have no idea. 95 thousand well, people are excited for you back i would say how does it feel to get the cat out of the bag it feels good a year and a half of some good. behind the scenes it side feels story. Good. Well, it also feels good because, you know, 2020 has been kind of a rough year. Yes. And like good news is is seemingly on short supply. So yes. it's good to be able to bring joy to people when maybe there isn't there's less joy yes. than normal. Yeah. And I know that Megan Ben brought joy into the world with Liliana. Yep. And now, now we're bringing the joy into the world with Snowball. <laughs> if you don't get that joke and you haven't seen the video, go watch the movie. Snowball. It's called 41 still, and Pregnant. It's still high on the yeah. list. On that Gideon. was one of the best jokes in there, right? Gideon had it high on his list. Yep. Snowball Roads. <laughs> That was a very fun movie to make. It was my first, a year and a half of footage never before seen, like I've repurposed footage like, for the Great American Farm Tour, Papa, for Permaculture Pigs. Can yes. you film this? I really, okay, yeah, you're gonna have that in some yogurt. We have maple syrup on tap. It's not that big. There you go. Oh, that's milk. You don't want maple syrup and milk. Oh my word. What, you put that in milk? Yes, I thought it was yogurt. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about it? I gotta go. So, I worked a year and a half on that movie. It's full of ups and downs. It's a long story. It's full of kicks and giggles. I'll leave a link for that down in the description or you can go to 41andpregnant.com. Enjoy the show. I think we'll take this show just to Answer some of your burning questions some those surrounding this baby that maybe weren't answered in the movie like when are we gonna find are we gonna find out what it is and when? Yes, we're gonna find out if it's a boy or girl in five weeks. Uh oh Looks good. They're growing nicely. The ducks are actually getting butchered this week. We hired a guy from uh, who I met on the farm tour, Don Breaker Farms, to come and we're 
filming a workshop for our timber area. It's not a hands-on or anything, we're just filming it. Um, I'm excited about that. I've never butchered ducks before, so I felt more comfortable getting a professional here and showing me for the first time. And then also showing you guys, those, those who are members. That, that membership is coming up. Uh, well, we just aired the baby movie, so I think maybe not this week, but next week. Fall registration. Yeah, a lot going on. So I feel like this is kind of also an update video, including, <laughs> notice anything? The pole barn platform. Entire video on that coming soon. There's the tree we planted in honor of my late father. He died in November. A lot of people might want to ask, what well, does he know somehow? I don't know. I, hope, I would like to think he knows somehow uh, that we're having a baby. Last summer, we had the foresight. This was even before he started getting sick. When we started thinking about trying, you usually don't tell people when you're trying. You usually tell them after the fact. But we felt compelled to tell both sets of our parents, which included my dad. So at least we got to tell him that we were trying. And he was excited. And I actually filmed telling my dad that we were gonna try. And to me, when we finally got pregnant, like a year and a half later, I wanted so bad to find that footage because it would be like me being able to tell him. We couldn't find the footage. Some happy ducks. They're in grass in over their heads. <laughs> If you are new to the channel, we are a family now of seven, <laughs> was six, uh, growing all our own food for health, for well-being, for connection to the land, for independence. But most importantly, we're growing chiddlers. And now a brand new one that we're very excited about. So we're gonna be talking about it a lot throughout this process. It's gonna be a huge part of our life. We're all very excited. And I think when I started vlogging, Gideon was six months, our youngest. Go, you wanna go outside? Can you say outside? Show him outside, mama. Can you, I know you can do it. You wanna do it outside? Yeah, there you go. So this will be fun to document this life from the very beginning, from germination <laughs> to birth to growing up. So I might not have gotten to tell my dad, but I did get to tell Ginger, his wife. I did get to tell my siblings, so in a way that's him speaking through them. And they say, congratulations, way to go. Congratulations. I've been thinking about you guys and hope this would happen. And proud of you. So I think that's what, uh, those are the kinds of things that Pop said when we told him we'd be trying. He, mainly he laughed. Hey, the least I can do is pull in a shot of his laughter right here. <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's how he reacted a lot of times when I told him stuff. Done milking, moving on to the next thing. I slept 10 hours last night. You slept 10 hours last night. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you had Miss. And heart palpitations. I'm not is, sure. is that a symptom of your pregnancy? So I read that it can be, but I also, it is also a symptom of my medicine, mm. my thyroid medicine, which had to be upped because I'm pregnant. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna message my doctor and ask her, it seems as every time we up my medicine, I have this, and I just need to know if I need to like wait it out. It's not that bad. It's not like, it's not like panic attack. It's it's just enough for me to be like, why is this happening? Yeah. So, I well, just need to ask my doctor. I think it was a dead giveaway, Beck. A lot of people are saying when I started the Burn It Up cooking show. 
talked us. You had to hand over the reins of something you loved I to tolerate the Burn It Up cooking I, show. Well, yeah, I don't... Had I not gotten pregnant, I probably would have allowed you to do the Burn It Up cooking show because you love it so much. In the morning. Yeah, you always Not in cook, the evening. You always cook breakfast. You're in the evening. Yes, she... Yeah. If I um, want to eat breakfast, okay. I've so got to make it. Okay, so one thing we did not cover was food. Teddy, you trying to take the show? Are you needing attention? Um, we didn't really talk about, like, I could not eat. I couldn't smell food. If, yeah. if you go back to some of those vlogs where we were eating on the porch so much, it's because I couldn't even tolerate the smell of the food being cooked. I had a whole section of that and clips of that. I know. What happened to that? I just couldn't fit it in anywhere. Oh, okay. So I'm going to fit it in right here. I want stuffed shell so bad. <laughs> Look at Rebecca. This is the only thing she can stomach right now. Well, this is what I want to stomach. Rebecca is big on international foods during this time. I won't say craving. She can tolerate stomach. International foods, Italian, Mexican, tortilla coming right up. I said, we're having tacos tonight, it's Taco Tuesday. She says, I don't care. Can you tolerate it, man? Cause that's like amazing. I think I can. <laughs> if you want, I will. Mr. Brown and I are making the one thing that mama can bear right now. Brownies. You don't have cravings, you have, what can I stomach? Tolerations. Tolerations. Rebecca, it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> you can't stand to think about it? I don't want to eat any food. Nothing makes me want to eat. It's so sad. So, I didn't, I, the food, it was difficult. I, it was, I was eating. I was not eating a lot. I did lose a little bit of weight, a couple pounds over the six, seven weeks, but I, like, just last week, have been like, I want to eat this, or this sounds delicious to eat. And it didn't make me like, I basically came to a point where I was like, tolerate it, can I tolerate it? And then I could eat a little bit of it. <laughs> it wasn't even like cravings, like with the pregnancy in November, I was like craving those beans and coleslaw. This time I was like, bull. I stopped drinking broth, y'all. I've drank in broth for 18 months up until July. And then I just couldn't do it. I tried, I drink it through a straw fast. I'm gonna try to start drinking it again because I know it's good for me, but oh yeah. Falling out a beef roast for tonight. It's uh, four pounds, 4.12 pounds. Rebecca is at that, you know, first trimester mark, aren't you Rebecca? Or are you already in the second? Um, I'll be in the second. And She's already starting to feel better. She's actually gonna make, you gonna make hash browns this morning? That's all sure. I had to do it. And I'll be in charge of the bacon and eggs. I'm gonna thaw me out some elk patties for uh, breakfast. So what do you have to say about the uh, difficulty, if you call that? I don't know if it's difficult compared to some of what people are going through, but. So I have Not just, getting pregnant right away this time. Yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know how to say this. Like my heart breaks for all you mamas who are struggling with infertility. Like I can't imagine like the little bit, I don't even, I won't even want to call it a struggle because I don't think it yeah. was a struggle, but just the messages of all of you is just amazing because there are moms out there who are just so struggling and they just want to get pregnant and they're not and I don't know I just want to say like I see you and I see your struggle and I'm and I'm sorry and I hope that it works out for you and that you get to have that baby because it is it is one of the most joyous things in the whole whole world on today's episode of Burn It Up Cooking Show, we're going to have a special guest, the beautiful one. And we're going to make so bacon and sausage. We're going to make bacon and eggs. And Beauty's going to make hash browns. I'm going to make elk burgers. You guys want to go ahead and spread that bacon out, please. Wash your hands after you're done. About the baby's name. 
We don't know what we're gonna call this thing yet, thing, this person yet. Uh, we, at the end of the movie, there was a Gideon thinks snowball. There was some banter about what we would name it. That was early on. That was with our first pregnancy, and we were just fooling around thinking about names. Mary Elizabeth is on the. There's a possibility. We don't even know if we're having a girl yet. Everybody's pulling for a girl. I know. Everybody's pulling for a girl. It's already been decided. I want to go. I want to go away. Oh yeah. But we won't know for four or five weeks. Yeah, and then I don't know how quickly we're gonna tell you to. Yeah. We're gonna have to come up with a fun way to reveal that. Looks like the beautiful one is gonna put you on suspense. You in charge of bringing up the potatoes? We need more than that, I'm sure. I brought the whole container. That's all we've got left of our potatoes? Yeah. So you got our potatoes, and we got some supplemental potatoes here. We need a lot. How's it feel to be back in the kitchen? Feels good. I don't know if I'm 100% back. It's that crazy. There's hot dogs. It's crazy. That whole time. Hot dogs. hot dogs are making me one of them. Just size heating up some hot dogs for snacks. That whole time you were out of the kitchen, I couldn't talk about it. <laughs> and unless people saw you that you're pregnant, they're probably wondering what the heck. And well, now that I can film you again, here you are. Well, we gave some hints about it. Yeah, we dropped the beans and the coleslaw a lot when you were craving that. Well, with the first one. Also, the, um, the fact that I couldn't stomach meat. That yep. was a that was a dead giveaway. Because I didn't. Have Why? Meat. Why is a woman pregnant cannot stomach meat? That's like what she needs the most. I know it's weird. Um, I don't know if it was stomach it or the cooking of it. Yeah. I ate meat. I just. You eat a lot of like, burritos. You would, you would cook it and it just smelled so bad. So I'd go sit on the porch. <laughs> yeah. Are these your dogs? You're giving them treats? Yeah. This is a nifty trick. Put it in a towel. It is. The shredded potatoes and get the juice out. The excess water. I learned that from Natalie at Hey It's a Good Life. Oh, we could also show this. I'm not. I'm not really showing. You're not really, are you? Is that typical? 13 weeks, not even showing? I, I've never been um, one to measure um, above what I was supposed to. I'm usually measuring. I usually have measured two weeks smaller than I mm -hmm. am week-wise. Yet I still have... Nine pound babies. Eight, eight. Lily was nine. Well, I know a good question. People, a lot of people are thinking that the baby fever is going around. You know, the hollers just had their baby. Uh, yeah. We getting pregnant. What's going on with that? So actually, in 2018, we the hollers and I talked about this. I guess you were there too. I don't even know. Um, about. Hold on one second. You might want to put the cut glove on so you don't cut yourself. Or I was using a fork and kind of holding it, holding it. Back in 2018, we all talked about were we done? Did we want to have any more kids? And our all of our consensus was we didn't want to have any regrets. Yeah, nobody. Ever, you never want, talked to anybody who regretted their last child. We didn't want to regret not having that last child or a, a more children. So it wasn't. It it was. It's their fifth child too. Yeah. And they have a big gap too. They have an eight year gap. Yeah. And so I was very excited when Meg announced to us that she yeah. was pregnant. It was very exciting. It was a little bit hard because I had just miscarried and we would have been pregnant together. You would have like a month old baby. I would have like right a now. I would have like a one month old baby. If that pregnancy had boys? followed through. So yeah, that's crazy. But it's, it worked out the way it was supposed to. Hey, something's loose around my tooth where I had the surgery. Do you want to see if it's my, um, what do you mean uh, loose? Have to like uh, stitches or something? Yeah, you, uh, you had some stitch there. Oh, these are the stitches. How are the hash browns coming? Great, I got one cooked. And nice, let me check my bacon. It's turned off, I think it's staying warm nicely. Classic, bacon and eggs. How'd your hash browns turn out? Good, I think. And I made for myself bacon and eggs and elk burger. 
thanks to U.S. Wellness Meats, I can now get elk, grass-fed lamb, uh, bison, some things I don't have right now. Or I'll, I guess I'll never have bison and elk. Had a good restful day today, just getting taken it easy. Uh, but we're about to move the sheep. That's always exciting. We've just moved the cows over. Sheep, 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 sheep. Well, it's been a while since I've done this. We've got this down to 55 degrees. What is that? It's still cold. Get over for some more. Eddie. Go ahead. And now all we have to do is pull the trigger and this thing drains. Burn it up, cook it show, I see. Beauty style. <laughs> boiling the potatoes, boiling the green beans, yep. broiling the... Well, no, it's... Um, oh. Actually, it didn't hurt me, it scared me. <laughs> um, it's only got less than 10 minutes, it's been baked. So, roast. yeah, so I roasted it at five, well, it's four, you turn it to 500 and then you go to 475 for 30 minutes and then you shut it off for an hour and then you put it back on for 200 for an hour and it's supposed to cook Who it all Who figured the that out? We'll all see. I don't know. It always makes me nervous when those directions are like that, but I thought, why not? You do good on the roast, Becky. Did you do good on the potatoes and green beans? Mm-hmm. Good. Everybody like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeehaw!